Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a audiographic projection. So you are given this sketch in isometric form or in 3D form. Then they will ask you to do this question in first angle or a third angle. So let us assume now I want to do this in first angle. What you must do first, you measure a radius of 10. With your pencil, I know now you know how to use this square, so I'm just going to illustrate how it's going to be. You measure radius 10, you draw a circle. Radius is 10 here of this circle. It's 10 radius. Then you take your T square, you draw a line here from this line, you draw the line there. Also from here, you draw the line here using T square. You put it vertical up like T square this. What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to divide uh, this into four equal parts, also to make it 20 apart from each other. From each other. So this is my drawing, this one. So remember, if it's first angle, key for first angle is front, top, left, right. This is the key for first angle. Then here we are having two sides, side A and side B. Okay, this one's the top view here. So the top view C is the top view. This one's the top view, so the side. We are having side A and side B. Then we choose between side A and side B, which one is the biggest side. So A is my biggest side because 140 by 70. So my B is 65 by 70. So the biggest side is A. So A it will become our front view because the biggest side. I go there to my key, then front view is here, I just mark front view. So if this is the front view, then like B is my left view because I can only point it from left. So B is my left view. So you go there again to your key, then you mark left there in your key. After I must draw my front view here, my left view here, my top view here, according to this arrangement because I don't have the right view, I'm going to cancel it. All right, now I have to just put this side A here. So what I'm going to do from here to here, I'm going to measure 70 because it's given to be 70 there. From here to here is 140, it's given to be 140. Okay, this one is dead here. All right, I go up by dead here. So I go up by dead here because it's dead from here to here. Then I will take, let me just start the construction, I will start the construction line. Then from here to here, I'm going to measure 10. It's given 10 there. Then I found I found uh, the center there of radius 20. Then I put my compass there with the radius 20. I'm going to go until here. After I measure 10 from here to here, 10. So I'm going to again this one, again this one. Then I take this line down. I don't know until when. Then I take this one horizontal. Then it will meet somewhere there. I don't have to measure. Then I dug in this one. I dug in this one. After I'm going to also to see this from this side of A. So I'm going to measure 70 from here to here. 70 because it's given to be 70. Then I join this point and this point. So now I'm having this draw. Okay, you can't see this lot. There's a gap there, but you can't see it from this side. So it's 10 upwards. So I'm going to measure 10. And I'm going to use the hidden details because I can't see it. I can't see this cloth from this side, so I'm gonna use the details. So your front view is gonna look like this. Then if you want to do the, your left view, what you must do, you must project lines. You can project lines here, project lines here, project this line, project this line. Alright, from here to here already 70. So what I must do, I must measure 65 because from here to here 65, the end of the side view. Left view I mean 65 from here to here. From here to 65, I take it up, then I dig in this one. Then let me close also this one. All right, from this side to this side, I'm gonna measure 10, it's given 10. Also, from here to here, 10 is given. Then, after I'm gonna close here, I take it vertical up by 10, vertical up by 10. Then I close here according to this. Then I draw a straight line here, it's this line. Then in the middle, I'm leaving the website. I'm going to find the center here. Then I measure 7.5, 7.5 this side. Then I take it up. 
until here. All right, I can't see this circle from side of B because I was strong side B. So I'm gonna use a hidden details here to present my circle. So my left view is gonna look like this. Then let's go for top view. Top view also I have to project some lines here. I project this line, I project this one, I project this one, I project this one. I project this one all right after from here to here is already one foot so remember it's then time spread so my brand is 65 so i'm gonna say from here to here is 65 and i'm gonna close here because this one's already one foot this one so i'm gonna close here then i see one two three four lines from the top so it's this line one then second one is this one and fourth one is this one because it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four lines. Then after I see this thing of the web. So I'm going to find the center here. Then I measure 7.5 this side. 7.5 this side. Then I will draw until the so after I'll put the hidden details for this plot. So it's gonna look like this here. This side's gonna look like this. After I must write symbol for first angle. So symbol for first angle, it looks like this. Alright, this is the same thing. This circle is equal to this thing, and then this one is equal to this thing. Okay, for me, for this circle, you can make diameter of 15, the bigger one, then the smaller one you can make diameter of 10. I think it's fine. From here to here, you can also make it 15. From here to here. The space in between doesn't matter. So you just take the decrease line you put it horizontally vertical line remains vertically so and then you must just do the distance first angle thanks for watching